thing on it. I got two tunnels going. Um, I'm gonna do kale, um, lettuce, some other stuff. But this is how I get my seeds to start uh, by whipping them. I get a roll of this thick paper towel stuff from uh, Harbor Freight or Craig and O'Reilly's. And I use a lot of it. I probably waste a lot, a lot, but you know, it works for me. This is the seed starting trays to where you can put the rock wool inside these uh, or dirt, whatever. But you get this from your local hydro store or a uh, hardware store. Uh, it comes in a larger tray. I cut it to fit my uh, container. But what I do is I wrap this up as much as possible. I usually do a, as much, not as much as possible, but I usually do a three or four layers of material. Just get it wrapped around. Nice. You know, the tighter the better, I think, just so uh, aesthetics. It just looks better, looks cleaner. Uh, this second one that I have laying out, I just use this to go over. Same thing, just for aesthetics. That's it. Nice, nice like a straight. Just looks good. What am I going to do with that? I'm going to put it inside this bucket. Hopefully, you can see. You can't see, actually. There's about an inch of water, maybe three quarters of an inch of water in the bottom of this container. All I'm going to do, oh, in this water, it's rain water. Uh, or I would use water that's dechlorinized. Uh, probably no nutrients. Maybe some root starting nutrients, if anything. I'm going to put this in here. What's going to happen is the paper towel is going to absorb all the water, not all, but absorb the water, and the paper towel will wick the water up to where the seeds are going to be at. What am I going to put on top of this rock wool? I mean, sorry, on top of the paper towel is going to be rock wool. I'm strong and getty here in the background. Sorry, it might be a little bit loud. I get the big, uh, it's a big tray of rock wool, uh, and I cut it into these strips. I let this strip set overnight. Um, some people will say six hours, some people will say an hour, some people say 30 minutes, but me, overnight is good enough. Just want to get all the oxygen out. Um, I also use... One of these long, pointy, pokey things. We have a lot of seeds to choose from. Uh, but, my girlfriend really wants some lettuce. I really want to get these beans going. And I got some strawberries. So, I'm probably going to do one line of uh, carrots, one line of beans, and one line of butter lettuce. I don't think we need basil. We have lots of kale going already. I need to go get some spinach. Alright, so this is going to be how I get the seeds in. Actually, let's take a look at this. Since I've set this in here, Remember, this is the blue material over my seed starting. It's already wicking the water up. So by the time we're done making this, you'll see that it'll be completely full. And that's another reason why we use uh, so much is because it gets kind of thin. Actually, I don't know about that. Like my Christmas ornaments in the background. I don't mind actually my girlfriends, but who cares? So what I do is, next to the circle, where they actually, uh, I'm going to do this one, to the circle, I will just make my own hole. See how deep it is? Oh, it's almost all the way through. Don't go all the way through. But go nice and, say about half inch deep. Make sure the hole is nice and 
burrowed out. Not as big as the other one. But let's say these will be the beans. These are green beans. I need two, four, six, seven. Got five, six, and seven. So take the seed, put it right where the hole is at. Actually, no, these ones are actually probably big enough to use the actual hole. But smaller seeds, this is what you got to do with these. Because, like, the lettuce, um, this won't hold the lettuce stock up. It'll fall over real easy. And then just pack it over like that, lightly push it over. This would now go on top of that wicking tray that I have inside there. Beans usually take about five to seven days to sprout. This method I've been using, and these are carrots that I put in. Uh, all right, so this is how I finished up uh, my little seedling box, uh, my wick uh, seed starter. I got my insulation I'm using as my pond cover, some extra shit stuff, and uh, cut it up with a light on here. Uh, I didn't have it all taped. This is actually fancy for what I do, actually. With me, it's uh, if it works, it's good. But you know, this is pretty dope. I like it. Uh, so, let me bring you a little bit closer. This is a uh, coral light. It's got two bulbs in it. I have one disconnected right now. Uh, just need a little bit of light, not too much. Um, duct tape the back so this one's stationary as of right now. Um, I cut out a little area for the switch and wire. Same thing, duct tape the sides. The back is stationary. The front, we can move up and down. And you see all my seedlings in there too, with the light on. And uh, if uh, we finish the video off this, you can see that the wicking pad has now absorbed all the water it can. And the plants or seeds will hopefully suck up only the water that they need. But we'll see. I have a lot of things sprouting right now. Right here I have these lettuces. Got some carrots, and this is only like nine days old. And like I said, it wasn't taped before. Now I'm getting fancy with it. So this is my wicking box seed starter for my aquaponics NFT system that's out here. Whoa. And I got an EBB and flow back there too. So uh, that's a lot to come. Remember, like and share, subscribe, and we're going to have a lot more videos going on of this right here. So I'm going to go to the hardware store in sunny California, right? Like and subscribe, share, see you on the next one.